what is this? That would be my manganese sulfate. Alrighty. So this is the next step of the Sea Island cotton planting. Alright, so that didn't work too well one hand, but I can do this. There we go. Three pounds of manganese sulfate. And it is 18% sulfur atoms by weight and 31% manganese atoms by weight. And in combination with this calcium sulfate and this boric acid I've acquired, those are all the trace element fertilizers I'm going to need for this plot. This is orthoboric acid, 60%. And it is just the sticker off just roach and ant killer as you can see worth boric acid and it is 64% orthoboric acid by weight and orthoboric acid is 17% boron and over here we have calcium sulfate and while this looks like dentures these are actually dental molds teeth and they're made of plaster. And plaster is calcium sulfate, and I need sulfur for the soil. And although I do get sulfur in there, I don't get enough. And if I were to add more of this to get the correct amount of sulfur, I would over fertilize the manganese. So with this, I can add calcium sulfate, and the calcium won't hurt anything. If anything, it'll help a little bit, although the soil is perfectly fine on calcium. But I'll get the sulfate without the manganese. Now you may be wondering where I got these. That's a trade secret. Not really. My mom work, has been working in an orthodontic lab for the last 40 years, so I, I get these by the, by the five gallon box. All right, so the quantities I need for this is I need, as you can see there, 4.75 ounces of calcium sulfate, so probably one of these, maybe one, some change. Uh, I need point, I think, what was it, 0.785 ounces of boric a of this 64% boric acid. And I need 7 ounces of manganese sulfate, so not a lot. And I'm going to take all that, I'm going to grind up the teeth, and I'm going to make an aqueous solution in this sprayer, and I'm just going to spray that evenly over the plot. Uh, and I need such small amounts because uh, all, all the... All the um, Recommendations I was given by the Clemson soil analysis are on a per acre basis and I've only got a 625 square foot plot once I do all the math I, I really only need just very trace amounts all of these and None of these I think are particularly necessary the manganese is the most important out of all of them So it's it's not rocket surgery. Well, there's all the trace fertilizers. I'm going to need I'll still probably uh, apply urea to the soil at some point I'm I'm going to hold off on that until right before planting just because I don't want to encourage weed growth by adding a whole mess of nitrogen into the soil. Uh, I may not really need it, but uh, I'm still going to add it anyway. I think I'm just going to apply it to the middle crops to see if nitrogen fertilization makes any different, while I also see if irrigation makes any different. These are the three I'm just going to be doing for the most part. These are the necessary... Um, micronutrients I'm going to have to apply to the soil to make the conditions ideal. However, all of this is based on upland cotton, so I'm not entirely sure if it's um, if these are necessary for sea island cotton. I mean, they these are two completely different species. They're not just different cultivars, but we shall see. Uh, I did not have an option for, say, Pima, so I'm, I'm going to have to go with upland cotton. Uh, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty, now here comes the fun part of having to Google the miscibility of all these things in water so I know how much water I need in order to dissolve all of these things. I may have to apply it in three separate or in three gallons or different mixtures. And I'm not a chemist, so this is gonna be fun. Okie dokie, so I did all my math, and I should only need 450 milliliters to dissolve all the boric acid, and only 400 milliliters to dissolve all the 
uh, magnesium sulfate. Uh, looks like boric acid just isn't very soluble. Uh, however, however, I'm going to need 6, or 67,500 milliliters to dissolve all the calcium sulfate. Uh, I was afraid of something like that. Calcium sulfate isn't very soluble. That's 67.5 liters, which if you want to convert that to gallons, it's about 19 gallons to dissolve those 4.75 ounces of plaster. So that's not going to happen. I guess I'm just going to have to grind the stuff up and spread it by hand as a powder. And just to make sure I wasn't accidentally going to make some sort of horrid chemical byproduct and kill myself in the process, process I looked at literature and thanks to this 1993 article by Mr. Powell mixing any of these any of the manganese materials with water or with water and boric acid was compatible mix all right so that's not going to do anything bad so I can freely mix the boric acid and the manganese sulfate in the tank sprayer and apply all that to the plot I should just be able to mix that with a gallon of water and that'll be plenty dilute and I'll be able to cover the entire thing nice and evenly well we're out here at the plot and I have my boric acid and my manganese sulfate so we're just gonna dump it in this sprayer and hope these things dissolve I have a gallon of water in here it's four quarts and from my math these two compounds only required less than a liter between the two in order to fully dissolve. So, hopefully, they should both dissolve in a gallon and I'll be able to disperse that evenly across the plot. Uh, it turns out um, calcium sulfate does um, not dissolve in water to in, in any useful amount. So, I'm just gonna have to sandwich it between some cardboard and beat it with a hammer and then spread it as a fine powder I may need to come back and add a little bit more just to get it even. So that wasn't particularly effective. So because of that, I'm going to strain out the finer stuff into there and I'm going to add another one of these because this is not going to break down in the soil fast enough for my growing schedule. So I'm going to need to add more in order to compensate. Uh, having an excess of sulfur and calcium in the soil won't hurt anything. Okay, well I've reduced the calcium sulfate down to this. There's a lot of fine particulate in there, but for the most part it's larger chunks. It won't matter. Uh, I'm overdoing it that way. These larger chunks, they'll break down over a longer period of time. So, they'll act more like a slow-acting fertilizer. It'll, that'll make up for not as much of it being available when the plants are still growing. Well, the plaster's been broken, and you can see the boron and the magnesium sulfate has been dissolved. Not sure why that's orange in color. Let's see if there's any precipitates. Uh, seems to be a little bit of precipitate, so I'll have to shake that up before I spray it. First things first, I'm going to spread the calcium sulfate. I'm going to take the larger stuff and just huck it on out there. Alright, calcium sulfate has been spread. I tried to just run four lines down the middle. Now, next step is using the sprayer to distribute the dissolved trace elements. As you can see down in there, all the particulates are gone. There's still a few flecks, but that's of no concern to me. So, that's it. The plot has now been fertilized with all the trace elements it's going to need. Uh, I'm probably going to add urea to the two center rows. Uh, but other than that, it's just a waiting game till I plant. Uh, I'll probably have this tilled again right before I plant, and right before I do that I'll add the urea. And then I'll get all the rows shaped, and then we'll be ready to plant.